What's going on everybody? I wanted to apologize for this week's community video. It's going to be really short because I accidentally deleted all of my files for this episode. So I really didn't have anything to work with besides some stuff I could pull from the Patreon video. So it's, it's only going to be about, yeah, like seven minutes long, but I'll be back next week because I will make sure I don't delete any more of my files. So I hope you enjoy this condensed reaction. It's community season four, episode two. Again, sorry about that, guys. Last week, we kicked off season four. I really liked that. Uh, the episode last week, it was one of my favorites, actually. And some people say that season four isn't one of their favorite seasons, but I think it kicked off great. So I can't wait to get uh, through this one. The only thing, unfortunately, is season four, five, and six, I believe, are 13 episodes each. So no more 23, 24 episode seasons, and that kind of sucks. But what can you do? Anyways, if you want to see all my full uncut watch alongs, head over to my Patreon. I got some stuff there that I don't have on YouTube right now, and it helps me a great deal. So, all right, let's get into it. Season four, episode two in three, two, one, go. Hey, Halloween time. Hello. Aww. The boys are stormtroopers. Oh. <laughs> He's a little. Oh, my God. Indubitably. Did it work? <laughs> are you tall? Oh, God. Oh, my God. For the one million time, why did they not spin off Troy and Abed? I'm sure. They just didn't have the time and their schedules were crazy, but that would have been an amazing show. Holy shit. So, all right, Paranormal Parentage was a pretty good Halloween episode. It was, I guess, I don't think it was better than the last few, but it was good. It's hard to continuously top your special episodes, but this was fine. It was pretty funny. I feel like it just had a little bit more meaning to it than just being funny. You know, wanting to help Pierce and then Jeff uh, with those feelings about his dad to finally feel like he wants him, maybe want, wants him back in his life to give him a call. Britta actually helping. You know, the whole joke has always been that Britta is not good at what she does and she's annoying when she does it. But it looks like she really helped Jeff a little bit here, uh, you know, to get through to him a little bit. So Britta uh, is doing a good job. Um, but yeah, besides that. Uh, it was good to see Gilbert again. Giancarlo uh, is Esposito is hilarious, and he's so good in this role. He's good in every role, but uh, it was nice to see him again. But was that him in the bedroom with Pierce? That is the question. Uh, I feel like it's not that big of a deal for us to sit after this episode to like think about it, because even though they don't specifically say it was him, it's got to be. It has to be. You know, he was the only one in there and, you know, he was cleaning up and handling a whole bunch of stuff for Pierce. So it leads me to believe it was him in the room. But why would he be in there when he was sleeping? I don't know. Maybe he just went in there to see if he was there. Not sure. Um, Abed finding the security room was funny because from the beginning of the episode, when they were going to the party... He was saying, is there going to be a TV there? Because, you know, Abed enjoys a party. Like, they've had multiple parties on the show, and he he goes. But obviously, he's a little bit awkward, and he probably want to watch a little bit of TV while he was there. If he didn't want to be, like, overstimulated by everything, he'd probably just want to go to a, a, one of the rooms and watch TV for a bit. So it was cool that he got into the security room, which has televisions. Even though it's not TV... Abed's imagination lets him see see it for what it's not. So he's watching his friends go around this haunted house. He's not watching it as his friends going through a haunted house. He's kind of watching it as a TV sitcom. And that was pretty cool. I really enjoyed that. Um, the joke about Troy, I know the series portrays Troy as not... Uh, they don't portray him as dumb. Um, they portray him ha as super, super innocent when it comes to certain things. So it was funny that he got into like the Fifty Shades sex dungeon and didn't know what that stuff was for. But 
it was it was surprising to me that according to his body language and the way he reacted to Britta, it kind of sounds like he's never done it before, which I figured he probably would have in high school since he was like the most popular quarterback football player. So it is interesting to kind of be given information that maybe Troy hasn't and he's going to be a little bit nervous, but he's with Britta. I think they'll be good because as you saw, Britta is she's a good person. You know, she really cares for Troy. Troy really cares for her. You could tell. I think this was the first time on camera, like in the episode, we were confirmed verbally that they're dating. And yeah, it'll be, I think, kind of what he said about the Inspector Space Time show is also like a metaphor for maybe Troy and Britta's sex life as they date. You know, he said it starts off slow and kind of boring. You know, in the first season, the professor doesn't even time travel. And I kind of feel like that might be like them also saying, listen, I don't want to rush into anything. Let's take it slow. But could be me just reading into things. Anyway, Paranormal Parentage, another really good episode of Community. For me, season four is starting off pretty well. I mean, season um, episode one was amazing to me. And episode two was funny. So I think it'll be fine. Um, 13 episodes kind of stinks, but we went over that a little bit in the beginning. What are you going to do? There's what? 13, 13, 13. That's 39 episodes for season four, five, and six. And that's basically a season and a half if you go back to season one, two, and three. So it's crazy that I'm, I'm going to be done with this show in less than a year. And I'm really going to be sad when I'm done because I don't know if there's another show I could replace this with that's going to live up to this because it's been really great. So with that being said, what do you all think of this episode? What do you think of my reaction? Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, guys.